label streetwear. Some say it's the cousin of Couture. Some say it's purely artistic freedom and graffiti. But my purpose today is to show my fashion intro class that streetwear can actually be all those things intertwined into one common concept of fashion that's derived from anti-establishment freedom of expression. So today, Harold Washington is going to beat the streets trying to get the origins and whereabouts of how streetwear actually came from and where it actually derived. Streetwear is youth. It's a Rachel's 80s look inspired by the sneaker culture and hipsters on New York's Lower East Side. But don't confuse streetwear with urban fashions. By urban fashions, I mean your Rockawares, Sean Johns, Echo, and Parrish. When referring to streetwear, I think of brands by the likes of an Acapulco Gold, Orisu, Crooks and Castles, Stussy, Obey, and the infamous Billionaire Boys Club. Streetwear is miles away from your typical dark denim, baggy clothing, and white sneakers that dominated the urban scene in the late 90s. Stores such as American Apparel, H&M, Uniqlo, and Urban Outfitters' whole design concept is based on streetwear. 1980, Sean Stussy sold T-Search with his distinctive drawn signature. Stussy clothing was started as a surfboard brand, inspired by reggae musicians, skaters, hip-hop, and DJs. Over time, it grew into more of a surf brand, but became a general streetwear brand, which in turn helped propel Stussy into an international brand. The company now makes shirts, pants, caps, shorts, and jackets. Stussy has over 60 retail stores worldwide, which are referred to as chapters. Many chapters produce special limited edition items exclusive to that particular chapter. What do you think is going like in the future as far as this brand marketing? What kind of people do you want to appeal to? Um, I mean, that's what I like about schools. Like, it changes all the time. Like, we have, we have stuff, like t-shirts and stuff that will appeal to, you know, the youth generation. And we have like Lexline, which will appeal to people from 20 to 45 years old. You know, Japanese people, they like what American people like. American people like, sort of like what Japanese people like, so it just worked out. True. Commonwealth is a unique specialty select boutique that creates and fulfills the demand for new and established street fashion and sportswear brands that influence and inspire. They showcase brands that tap into the creative, independent spirit of counterculture. Commonwealth has worked closely with musicians such as NERD, Eclipse, Kenna, and DJ Mike Rizzi to help advance and promote the different aspects that comprise the streetwear cultural movement. Even though, after several years of explosive growth, the streetwear market has experienced casualties on both the brand and retail sides. As the economy weakens and consumers cut back on discretionary spending, the streetwear industry is gradually learning that simply being a hipster doesn't put food on the table. There is still signs of hope though. As weaker brands are weeded out, a maturation process is taking place among those who are serious about turning their screen printing hobbies into full-time jobs. Many t-shirt lines have expanded into cut and sew collections and significantly multiplied the retail account base. So, when referring to streetwear, one cannot merely identify this industry just by the clothes. Music, poetry, vandal art, and fashion are all components that make up this anti-status quo culture. The streetwear movement has now spawned a subculture in today's turbulent society, a subculture that is growing daily with new followers who are intent on spreading the message of freedom of thought and love for individualism. The culture of streetwear prides itself on not living by the standards that society has set forth. Streetwear consciously has freed itself from these restraints and has become a muse for free thinking and anti-establishment hipsters.